Welcome back to another exciting fishing adventure. It is, uh, it's about 6 p.m., 5.30, something like that. I don't know, I'm fishing the sunset bite, evening bite. I'm using spicy uh, sriracha tiger nuts for the hook bait. It's an unseasonably cool uh, day for the middle of July. It's like the 17th of July. And uh, the southern part of the country is baking in like 110, 20, whatever uh, heat. It's 75 here. It's beautiful. <laughs> The pressure is above 30. It's like 30.08. So uh, it's not super high, but I like I like it to be below 30 usually. But hey, you fish when you can, right? If I waited for perfect weather to, to go fishing, uh, I'd hardly ever go fishing. So I think probably maybe my favorite weather to fish in is in the fall, September, October. You know, when the water gets down into like the 60s and the, the air temps are probably in the 50s, you know, it's uh, all the jet skis, well, most of the jet skis and the, uh, you know, power boats have been put away for the season. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's my time to shine right there. There's one of my favorite lakes in the area here that I, I love to fish, but I don't even go there from about June 1st until September 1st because it's, uh, it's just a big playground. It's just annoying to be there. This pack bait is left over from the previous trip. It's just my usual stuff, oats, sweet feed. I put in a can of whole kernel corn in there this time. Don't usually do that. And a can of cream corn. And yeah, vanilla. It smells like vanilla. This is just about gone. I'm gonna get the baits out with this and then I'll go ahead and make some new bait right away here. And I'm just gonna spread these baits out into three different depths. One off to my right will be in the shallowest. I think that's about two, three feet deep over there. Four or five feet straight out in front of me. Off to the left, it's going to be quite a bit deeper. I'm going to put it out in probably 10, about 10 feet of water. Maybe a little less than 10, 8 to 10. Generally, I don't want to fish any deeper than, than 10 feet anywhere in the middle of the summer uh, because of thermoclines. Uh, I don't think this lake gets a thermocline because it's it gets pretty deep and I, I think there's some springs that kind of keep the water circulating and I, I don't think it gets a thermocline but I'm not going to fish beyond 10 feet anyway. Bam. That's a precision cast right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably about eight. Here's something I don't usually carry with me in July. Sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm probably going to fish until, uh, well, until dark. Uh, but maybe into the dark if it's if it's nice and cool and it, it feels nice and the bugs aren't killing me too bad. We'll see. I got fresh batteries in the lights, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so I need to make some more pack bait. I've been measuring this stuff recently. I just well, I just did once recently because everybody asks the ratio of ingredients, and I, I never measure stuff; just kind of wing it. But the other day, I did actually measure what I do, and it ends up being uh, eight cups of old-fashioned oats and two cups of the sweet feed pellets. I've got a scoop that I use. I got oats in bulk and sweet feed in bulk, and I got a two-cup scoop. So I do four scoops of oats and two scoops of uh, sweet feed. So again, eight cups, two cups. I stopped buying the oats in the tubes and I've been buying them in bulk. Uh, so I don't, I used to use half a tube. If you're, if you're buying the oats in tubes, use about half a, half of one of those 42 ounce tubes. Uh, is approximately the same. This is not an exact science here, folks. And I'm just gonna put in some pineapple here to moisten that up and give it some flavor and sugar. 20 ounce can of pineapple. I find that crushed pineapple works the best for this. It gets uh, it spreads around nicely in this mix. And then I'm gonna add some chili powder. Spicy, sweet and spicy. Smells good, I like it. Fish like it, everybody likes it. And just a little splash of water just to get the rest of that stuff that's in the can. And it seems like a little bit of water kind of gets that bait uh, going a little bit faster. It soaks into those oats a little bit faster. Toss it up. That's it. 
marinating for 10 minutes, it'll be ready to use. Just walking over there to take a leak. Great timing, carp. It hasn't been that long. Probably, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Probably neglected to mention that I'm fishing with my short six and a half foot rods today. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun fight. This fish is along the bank down there. These rushes are growing up, getting in my way this summer. <clears throat> this fish has stopped fighting. Just kind of letting me bring him in here. I just want to loosen that drag when I get close like that. As soon as he sees me, he's going to freak. Oh boy. It's not a small fish. I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm trying to coax him to come in here without getting freaking out too much but let's see yeah come on come on oh. Oh, he was in the net and he swam right out I tell you what with these shorter rods you lose some control when you're fighting the fish out at distance but when you're close in like this, trying to net them by yourself, it's a lot easier to handle. Oh no. That wasn't good. Fish swam underneath the net, almost got the line wrapped around the net. Okay, fish in the net. And yes, I still have to pee, so let's get this fish unhooked here. Get a quick weight on him here. 12 pound fish. Yeah, 12 pound fish. This is a nice fish. I think this might be the smallest fish I've caught out of this lake. This is one of those like big fish only kind of lakes, you know? And uh, yeah, 12, great fight. This guy, he's kind of roughed up. I don't know, his belly, he's got all sorts of red on his underbelly. I don't know what's up with that. Back in the water. This is a great start. Thank you, see you later. Tiger nuts are still intact. I'm gonna reuse those. Check that hook. Ouch. Yeah, that's good. You ever have that? Like certain lakes or ponds or stretch a river maybe where it's just like big fish only? There's a couple places where I fish where it's like that. Usually the fishing is usually really slow. But when I do catch one, it's, it's always a big fish. And when I say big fish, you know, 10 pounds or more is big fish for me. But stocked, stocked lakes or pay lakes don't count. I'm talking about uh, wild waters. You guys that fish those pay lakes, you know where they get those fish, right? They harvest those fish. They hire commercial fishermen to go harvest those fish out of rivers and lakes. Those of you who buy fishing licenses and fish wild waters, they're, they're taking those fish from you. You no longer have the opportunity to catch those fish. Something wrong with that. But it is interesting how some uh, lakes or ponds or stretches of river will, will just hold big fish. You, know, you just don't catch small fish very often. And 
of course there's lots of examples of uh, places where there's only small fish where you've got just a stunted population or all the big fish get arrows put through them so that those genetics just get you know work their way out of the ecosystem in those ponds Same rod. <clears throat> it's only been about 10 minutes. This fish is swimming right into me. That doesn't happen very often. It doesn't feel like the biggest fish ever, but it's not a small fish, that's for sure. Big fish only, remember? That's a good fish. I gotta keep him over here. He's gonna get my other lines over there. Yeah, this fish is uh, quite a bit bigger than that first one, I think. is taking forever oh he's got energy for days see that jumped right out of the water there I've been fighting this fish for probably 10 or 15 minutes here oh, in and out get in here okay Oh yeah, this is a bigger fish than that first one. This fish is being very compliant on the mat. <clears throat> it's 17 pounds, 14 ounces. Yeah, upgrade, 17 pound fish. This is a beast. My arms are tired from fighting him. It's a long fight. He looks like he got hit with a, maybe a crank bed or something. He's got a, a wound there. I don't think that might have happened in, uh, when I netted him, I suppose. But yeah, big tail, 17 pound fish, moving in the right direction here. This is a good night so far. Yeah, it's only uh, 7 o'clock, a couple hours till dark. Oh, yeah, see you later. Both of those fish came in that deeper water over there, that eight foot water. And I suspect that uh, this unseasonably cool temperatures that I mentioned earlier might have something to do with that. Hang out in deeper water uh, for some uh, temperature stability because uh, it gets pretty chilly at night. I'm sure the shallow stuff, the, the water chills off. That was, that was on this uh, pineapple and chili powder pack bait. That's what I'll be fishing with for the next uh, several hours. Hopefully it's just going to be a parade of uh, progressively bigger and bigger carp on the bank here. Thunk. Yeah, seven, eight feet of water there. Fish on, fish on, fish on. I just rebaited and put this out there maybe five minutes ago. The way it bit kind of feels like it might be a big catfish. It's not running like carp. Yep, it's a big catfish. Big catfish. Right. Yeah, big channel cat with a uh, full belly. How much you want to bet there's a bunch of pack bait in there? Bet you there is. I'd say this is a, uh, I don't know, seven, seven pound channel cat, I suppose. It's a good looking fish. 
looks like a female. Cool. Putting them back. This fish doesn't look that old. Usually when they're old, their head looks disproportionately big compared to their body, but this looks like a pretty streamlined catfish here. It doesn't have a big, big head. Ooh, see you later. <laughs> it's been a while. Long time no bite. Uh, it's about 8.30, so yeah, it's been about an hour and a half since that uh, since the last fish. And that catfish came on the uh, same rod as those two carp, the one that's off in slightly deeper water. I'm putting it right back out there in that same spot. Yep, 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 yep. I just had a, a fish on briefly on the other rod and I was rebaiting it. I think that one was a catfish. This is not a catfish though. It's pulling like a carp. I gotta tighten that up a little bit. He's way down there. I've been losing a few fish lately in this this spot down here I know there's a tree in there somewhere a tree or a pile of rocks or something that uh, they are seeming to get the line wrapped around but so I got the drag a little tighter than uh, than I would if I was in a kind of a snag free area this is not a snag free area I'm gonna see if I can get this fish to come over here away from my other line that's out there I'm gonna loosen up the drag a little bit now that I got him away from that area over there where the where I've been getting snagged before. A lot of good weight here. This is a good sized fish, whatever it is. It's getting dark. It's uh, it's got to be getting close to nine o'clock. I think I haven't looked at the clock in a little while, but he saw me. Oh, he saw me. He's trying to head off to the left. I love having monofilament line fighting these big fish. Just gives me so much more confidence. It stretches when, when stuff like that happens. Pretty sure I'm going to end up going back to mono on my 9 foot rods too. And I think I'll, what I'll do is uh, just keep extra I'll just keep spools of braid spooled up and uh for times when I do need to cast far, I'll just switch out the spool with braid. Oh, it's a real nice fish. Real nice fish. Uh. Come on in here. got to be getting worn out. I'm getting worn out. My left arm is uh, burning. Come on. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, did you see that tail? This is a big fish of the night, I'm pretty sure. Yes. He's in the net. Big fish of the night for sure so far. This is bigger than anything I've caught yet tonight. We've got a 20 plus pound fish here, I'm pretty sure. I fought him for a long time, so hopefully he's uh, pretty worn out. It's not gonna freak out too much on the mat here. Zero. 21 pounds, nine ounces in the net. Yeah, buddy. 20 pounder, big fish of the night so far. This was a hell of a fight, I tell you what. My arms are, uh, or my left arm is pretty uh, wiped out from that, but wow, the thickness of that, uh, the tail there is pretty impressive. Yeah, it's getting dark. Uh, it's past nine, sun's down. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna fish, but uh, I hope the bites keep on coming. It's been a while, thanks to this big fish. <laughs> it's 
slipped out of my hands, but he's good. See ya. Well, that's going to be it, folks. Uh, haven't had a bite in a while. It's pretty dark, and uh, looks like Bert and Ernie and the Sesame Street Posse have shown up to do some uh, illicit activities in the parking lot. So I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.